एवरीवन वेलकम टू ऑल इन द सीरीज ऑफ रियल एनालिसिस हमने रिमन इंटीग्रल कंप्लीट कर लिया है अब हम स्टार्ट करते हैं यूनिफॉर्म कन्वर्जेंस सो सबसे पहले लिखिए पॉइंट वाइज कन्वर्जेंस ऑफ सीक्वेंस ऑफ फंक्शन So a sequence fn of real valued function defined on closed interval ab is said to be point wise convergent on closed interval a to b if limit n tends to infinity f n x exist for all x belongs to t x belongs to close interval a to b let f n be a sequence of real number let f n be a sequence of real valued function defined by f n x equals to n upon x plus n for all x greater than equal to 0 then find point wise limit of fn theek hai function kya given hai fn x equals to n upon x plus where x is greater than equal to 0 ab agar hum limit lagaye isme n tends to infinity fn x equals to limit n tends to infinity n upon x plus n hum n ko common le lete hain numerator and denominator mein se एन कैंसल आउट हो जाएगा देन अगर हम लिमिट लगाते वन एन टेंस टू इन्फिनेटिव वन अपॉन एन टेंस टू जीरो तो क्या बचेगा मेरे पास वन एंड द सीक्वेंस एफ एन इज पॉइंट वाइज कन्वर्जेंट फॉर ऑल एक्स ग्रेटर देन इक्वल टू जीरो एंड पॉइंट वाइज लिमिट ऑफ एफ इज गिवन बाय एफ एक्स इक्वल्स टू वन For all x greater than equal to zero. एक और example लिखिए Let f n be a sequence of real valued function. defined by that 
then find point wise limit of sequence of them. देखिए when x is greater than zero and smaller than one, then limit n tends to infinity x raised to the power n. इसकी वैल्यू क्या होती है? When x is greater than zero and smaller than one, then इसकी वैल्यू होती है zero. And when x equals to one, then limit n tends to infinity x raised to the power n. क्या होगा? x is 1. Limit kya ho jayegi is ki 1? Thik hai. And when x equals to 0, then e 0 jayegi. Thik hai. So, thik hai. When x is greater than equal to 0 and is smaller than 1, then uski limit hai 0. But when x equals to 1, then limit hai 1. तो हमें यहाँ दो केस बनाने पड़ेंगे। So let alpha belongs to zero to one, then case one alpha is greater than equal to zero, is smaller than one. Then limit n tends to infinity fn alpha equals to alpha raised to the power n limit n tends to infinity. Okay, which is equals to zero. Abhi dekha humne yaha par. And case two when alpha equals to one, then limit n tends to infinity fn alpha equals to 1. ठीक है? Hence, the given sequence fn is point-wise convergent For all x belongs to close interval 0 to 1. And the point wise limit is fx equals to 0 when x is greater than or equal to 0, smaller than 1, and 1 when x equals to 1. Okay? Next, लिखिए uniform convergence of sequence of function So, a sequence fn of real valued function defined on close interval ab is said to be uniform convergent uniformly Convergent to a function f on close interval a b if for each epsilon greater than zero and for all x there exists a positive integer m.
सच दैट ये जो एम है ये डिपेंड्स होगा एफ साइलेंट पे एंड ये डिपेंड एक्स पे नहीं करेगा ठीक है ये सिर्फ एफ साइलेंट पे डिपेंड करेगा एंड जो पॉइंट वाइज लिमिट है पॉइंट वाइज कन्वर्जेंस जब मैंने डिफाइन किया था देन उसमें जो एफ साइलेंट था वो एफ साइलेंट प्लस एक्स दोनों पर डिपेंड करेगा एंड जो ये एम है ये सिर्फ एफ साइलेंट पर डिपेंड करेगा फाइन सच दैट एफ एम एक्स माइनस एफ एक्स एज ए स्मॉलर देन एफ साइलेंट फॉर ऑल एम ग्रेटर देन इक्वल टू एम एंड फॉर ऑल एक्स बिलोंग्स टू क्लोज इंटरवल ए बी देन द फंक्शन एफ इज कॉल्ड यूनिफॉर्म लिमिट ऑफ द सीक्वेंस एफ एम एग्जाम्पल देखते हैं एक Let f n be a sequence of real valued function defined by f n x equals to n upon x plus n for all x belongs to close interval 0 to k where k is greater than equal to 0 then show that fn is uniformly convergent इन क्लोज इंटरवल जीरो टू के बट नॉट यूनिफॉर्मली कन्वर्जेंट इन इंटरवल जीरो टू इंफिनेट ठीक है तो सॉल्व करते हैं इसको Let alpha belongs to close interval zero to k. Here k is greater than equal to zero. Then f n alpha equals to n upon alpha plus n. And limit n tends to infinity. F n alpha equals to limit n tends to infinity. N common ले लेते denominator में से. Alpha By n plus one, n से n cancel out हो जाएगा and अगर हम limit लगा देंगे, then n tends to infinity, alpha upon n tends to zero, so one upon zero plus one equals to one. ठीक है? So limit n tends to infinity. F n s F n x exists for all x belongs to close interval zero to k. Therefore, therefore, the sequence f n is pointwise convergent. For all x belongs to Zero to k, and the point-wise limit is f x equals to one for all x belongs to close interval zero to k. Okay. Now 
let epsilon greater than 0 be given then fn x minus fx equals to n upon x plus n minus 1 equals to n minus x minus n upon x plus n and send cancel out to jayega then it is equals to x upon x plus n take care which is smaller than epsilon x is greater than 0 so this is a positive value hogi. so it is x upon x plus n like and it is smaller than epsilon whenever x plus n upon x is greater than 1 upon epsilon or we can write n is greater than uh, x upon epsilon minus x okay or n is greater than x 1 upon epsilon minus 1 okay so in the interval close interval 0 to k we get a positive integer m Okay. There exists m such that m is greater than k 1 upon epsilon minus 1 then fnx minus fx is smaller than epsilon for all n greater than equal to m and for all x belongs to the domain. Okay. And hence the sequence fn is uniformly convergent in closed interval 0 to k. ठीक है अब इंटरवल देखते हैं क्लोज इनटू जीरो टू इनफिनिट ठीक है इफ वी टेक एम इज ग्रेटर देन एक्स वन अपॉन एफ सेलेन माइनस वन देन एम टेंस टू इनफिनिटिव when x tends to infinity therefore it is not possible to choose any positive integer m such that for all n greater than equal to m and for all x greater than equal to 0 fnx minus fx is smaller than epsilon so therefore it is not possible Hence, the sequence fn is not uniformly convergent in closed interval 0 to infinity. Result decay. Every uniformly convergent sequence.
is point wise convergent and uniform limit is same as point wise limit Let fn be a sequence of real valued function defined by fn x equals to x raised to the power n. Then show that fn is uniformly convergent in close interval 0 to k when k is smaller than 1 and point wise convergent in close interval 0 to 1 abhi humne ye example solve kiya tha so usme hamari point wise limit jo hai wo kya aayi thi fx equals to 0 uh, when x is greater than equal to 0 smaller than 1 then fx equal to 0 and when x equal to 1 then fx equals to 1 ठीक है, so ये जो function था, ये point wise convergent था और इसकी point wise limit क्या आ गई थी f x. अब check करते हैं इसका ये uniformly convergent है या नहीं है, ठीक है? So let f sin is greater than zero and is smaller than one. Then for x is greater than zero and is smaller than one. We have fn x minus fx that means xn x raised to the power n minus 0 equals to x raised to the power n which is smaller than epsilon whenever 1 upon x raised to the power n is greater than 1 upon epsilon. Okay. या फिर हम लिख सकते हैं अगर हम दोनों साइड लोग ले लें तो क्या बचेगा log one upon x raised to the power n greater than log one upon epsilon because log is an increasing function then uh, n log one upon x is greater than log one upon epsilon so n is greater than log one upon epsilon by log 1 upon x तो हम यहाँ पर लिख देते हैं whenever n is greater than अब देखिए log 1 upon f sin क्या हो जाएगा log 1 minus log f sin upon log 1 minus log x log 1 0 होता है then इसकी value क्या हो जाएगी log f sin upon log x so whenever n is greater than log f sin upon log x okay and for x is equals to 0 fn x minus fx is equals to 0 which is smaller than epsilon whenever n is greater than equal to 1 ठीक है so now let us choose a positive integer m such that m is equals to maximum of 1 and log epsilon upon log x. Then 
then when x is greater than or equal to 0 and is smaller than 1 fn x minus fx is smaller than epsilon whenever और यहाँ लिखते हैं then x is greater than or equal to zero is smaller than one then there exist m such that f n x minus f x is smaller than epsilon for all n greater than or equal to m ठीक है so for all x belongs to zero to k where k is smaller than one the given sequence fn, the sequence fn is uniformly convergent. Okay. But now, see, we have taken the maximum of one. And log epsilon upon log x, then m tends to infinity as n tends to one. When x tends to one, sorry, x tends to one. So when x tends to one, log x tends to zero, and log epsilon upon log x tends to infinity. So m tends to infinity. Therefore, there does not exist any positive integer such that for all n greater than or equal to m and for all x belongs to close interval 0 to 1, fn x minus fx is smaller than epsilon. So, the given sequence fn is not uniformly convergent in close interval 0 to 1. Okay. So the given sequence is not uniformly convergent on close interval 0 to 1. Applique MN test. Test for uniform convergence of sequence of function. So let Fn be a sequence of real valued function such that fx equals to limit n tends to infinitive fnx. For all x belongs to close interval a to b, let mn equals to supremum of fnx minus fx. Such that x belongs to close interval a to b. Then Fn is uniformly convergent convergent to F if and only if limit n tends to infinity Mn equals to zero. Take care. एक एग्जांपल सॉल्व करते हैं लेट एफ एन बी अ सीक्वेंस
of real valued function defined by fnx equals to x upon 1 plus nx square for all x belongs to r then show that fn is uniformly convergent for all x belongs to r so let f uh, alpha belongs to r then fn alpha equals to alpha upon 1 plus n alpha square Okay. Limit n tends to infinitum fn alpha equals to limit n tends to infinitive alpha upon 1 plus n alpha square and it is equals to 0. When n tends to infinitive, then alpha upon 1 plus n alpha square tends to 0. Okay. And hence the sequence Fn is pointwise convergent. For all x belongs to R and pointwise limit is fx equals to 0 for all x belongs to r. Take care. Now, fnx minus fx is equals to x upon 1 plus nx square minus 0 is equals to x upon 1 plus nx square. Okay, and uh, let y equals to x upon 1 plus nx square. Okay, then dy by dx is equals to 1 plus nx square 1 minus x 2 in x okay. by 1 plus nx square all is square Okay. So, it is equals to 1 minus nx square upon 1 plus nx square all square. And uh, we know that for maximum and minimum value of y, dy by dx should be 0. So, therefore, 1 minus nx square upon 1 plus nx square ka whole square equals to 0 or 1 minus nx square equals to 0 or ka sakta x equals to plus minus 1 upon under root n. Okay. So, 
t square y by dx square is equals to uh, 1 plus nx square whole square minus 2nx minus 1 minus nx square into 1 plus nx square 2nx fine divided by 1 plus nx square all the power 4 equals to minus 2nx 1 plus nx square plus 1 minus nx square on 1 plus nx square all cube. Take care. हम सुप्रीम हम ये जो d स्क्वायर मतलब मैक्सिमा और मिनिमा हम क्यों फाइंड कर रहे हैं क्योंकि हमें सुप्रीमम निकालना है ना मॉडुलस ऑफ fnx minus fx का दैट्स व्हाई सो देयरफॉर d स्क्वायर y by dx स्क्वायर when x is equal to 1 upon under root n is equal to minus 2n 1 upon under root n uh, 1 plus n 1 upon n plus 1 minus n 1 upon n upon 1 plus n 1 upon n all cube. Okay. Ek iske equal a jayega. Uh, simplify करके equal आ जाएगा 4 under root n by 8 equals to minus under root n by 2 which is smaller than 0 for all n belongs to n ठीक है y is maximum at x equals to 1 upon under root n then mn equals to supremum of fnx minus fx nx belongs to r which is equals to maximum value of y which is equals to 1 upon under root n upon 1 plus n 1 upon n which is equals to 1 upon 2 under root n. Okay. So, therefore, limit n tends to infinity mn equals to limit n tends to infinity 1 upon 2 under root n. When n tends to infinity under root n tends to infinity and 1 upon under root n tends to 0. So it is equal to 0 and hence the given sequence Fn is uniformly convergent For all x belongs to R. Fine. Next, the Cauchy general principle of uniform convergence.
a necessary and sufficient condition for a sequence fn of function defined on closed interval ab to be uniformly convergent on closed interval ab is that for each epsilon greater than 0 there exists a positive integer m such that for all x belongs to closed interval ab is smaller than epsilon for all n greater than equal to m and for all p is greater than equal to 1 ek aur test likhiye test for convergence of sequence of function first test humne likha tha mn test then ek likhi dini theorem if the sequence of continuous function fnx converges to a continuous function fx on closed interval a to b and fnx is greater than equal to fn minus 1 x for all n belongs to n and x belongs to closed interval a to b then fnx converges to fx uniformly on closed interval a to b theek hai so agar sequence hai continuous function ki fn and wo converge kar rahi hai ek continuous function par theek hai close interval ab mein and jo fn jo sequence hai wo monotonically increasing sequence है. then fn जो है वो converge करेगी एफ एक्स पर यूनिफॉर्मली ठीक है एक कोर टेस्ट लिखिए एफ एफ एन एक्स इज मोनोटोनिकली नॉन डिक्रीजिंग and this sum function that is summation fnx is continuous on closed interval ap then 
summation f n x is uniformly convergent. On closed interval a b. Okay. So, अगर f n x monotonically non-decreasing sequence है continuous function की किसी closed interval a b पर and उसका जो sum function है that means summation f n x is also continuous on closed interval a b then summation f n x is uniformly convergent on closed interval a b ठीक है कुछ results लिख लेते हैं आप If f x is continuous on closed interval a b, then there exists a sequence of polynomial p n x. Such that p n x converges uniformly to f x on closed interval a b. Okay. Second, write f fn is a sequence of integrable function on closed interval a b such that it converges uniformly to a function fx on closed interval a b then fx is also integrable on closed interval a b and limit n tends to infinity a to b f n x dx equals to limit n tends to infinity a b f x dx moreover converges to uniformly on close interval a b fnx एक सीक्वेंस है जो कन्वर्ज कर रही है fx को यूनिफॉर्मली यूनिफॉर्मली ठीक है एंड gnx इज आल्सो अ सीक्वेंस व्हिच कन्वर्जेस यूनिफॉर्मली टू gx देन fnx प्लस माइनस gnx कन्वर्जेस यूनिफॉर्मली to fx plus minus g ठीक है and also k fnx converges uniformly to k fx where k belongs to r ठीक है, 
सो so, आज के लेक्चर में हम इतना ही करेंगे यूनिफॉर्म कन्वर्जेंस uh, जो है हमने पढ़ लिया है अब नेक्स्ट लेक्चर में हम पढ़ेंगे सीरीज ऑफ फंक्शन ठीक है सो थैंक यू